Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Those of you who are here for the first time, I'm Gina Louise. But I've been doing a lot of DIYs that I want to share with you. I have a lot of them still in editing. And so I did a big thrift shop today. Well, not a big one. I went thrift shopping and I went to the Dollar Tree because I had a few DIYs in mind and I'm going to share with you what I got. Um, it. <laughs> well, first I'm going to start with these. I've been dying to do these. I used, on my Etsy shop, I used to do a lot of, um, like, unique boho brides dresses and bridesmaid dresses and, um, cowgirl girl glam is really, my dog is here now, um, really popular. So, one of the things I've been dying to do, and I can't believe I found these today when I went to the thrift store, I want to do a pair of cowgirl glam cowboy boots. So, I had this in mind today, I said, what are the chances I could find a pair of cowboy boots that I can make into bridal cowgirl boots? So, I'm going to glam these up. So without further ado, let's get crafting and make these beautiful wedding cowboy boots. These are the boots I'm going to transform. I'm using my white Waverly chalk paint and I'm just going to cover the entire boot. This is after one coat, but I ended up doing three coats on the boots, letting each coat dry before I put on another one. And now we're going to bling them up. Now I'm going to mix my iridescent glitter with some Epsom salt to give it extra texture and bling. I've done this before in several of my videos. I'm sure you guys have seen it. I love the way it looks. You will need your glitter mix, Mod Podge, and a hot glue gun for this part. This is how the boot looks after the three coats, nice and bright white, the way I like it. This is where I made a little bit of a mistake, but then I realized and I stopped. I started adding the Mod Podge around the outer part of the um, scrolly decoration on the boot and I really needed to start with the hot glue gun. I wanted the center of the scrolly part to be raised so I was using the hot glue gun to do the scroll in the center so it would be raised and then I was going to put the Mod Podge around the edge of it with the glitter to give more surface of sparkle, but I didn't want it raised. So I started with the Mod Podge and then realized that I really needed to use the glue gun and do the raised part, which you'll see here. I just take my glue gun and I just follow the center of the scrolly design because this is where I'm going to add my glitter and I'm going to make this part the raised part. So I just sprinkle that on quick. You have to do it quick because hot glue dries pretty fast. And then after I sprinkled it on, I I pressed it down just a little bit so that it would adhere to the glue as much as possible. All 
I'm not sure how much my camera actually captured here, but it's really sparkly and beautiful. You're going to want to work in little sections at a time. Like I said before, hot glue dries really fast, so don't do a whole big scroll and expect the first part that you put the hot glue on to actually still be hot and wet. So just do little sections at a time. Now this is the part that you fill in with the Mod Podge. You're just going to follow around the hot glue strip that you did. And you don't have to do this in such small sections like you had to do with the hot glue. But just brush the Mod Podge all around the edge. I forgot to mention earlier, but by now I'm pretty sure you've noticed. Please stuff your boots with some kind of paper, newspaper or magazines, whatever you have, so that it's just a better surface to work on. Now you could start to see the design coming through and I'm just so happy with the way it's coming out. It looks beautiful. You can clean up all those little glue trails after you're done because the hot glue gun always leaves these little stringy trails, but it's not a problem. You can just pull them off later. So you're going to just keep continuing doing that to each side of the boot and make it as sparkly as you want. Thank you. 
If you don't think it's sparkly enough, add extra iridescent glitter. That's what I do because I like it to really bling. I added a totally dazzled rhinestone pin to these boots and I have some extra ones that are for sale in my Etsy shop if you need some of these. And here are the final results. I hope that I've inspired you to create your own glam cowboy boots. Thanks for watching.